Hi, my name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and this is which planet has the strongest pull. So the gravitational pull of a planet depends uh, strict, uh, directly with mass. So the most massive planet has the highest gravitational pull. Uh, and in our solar system, the biggest planet is Jupiter. So we know that Jupiter has to have the highest gravitational pull. So I'm going to demonstrate how to figure out the gravitational forces uh, and how to compare them with each other. So let's say we have um, Jupiter and Earth, and let's try to compare both of them. Let's say that we have a rock on the surface of each planet, and each rock is one kilogram. Now we wanna know what is the gravitational pull that that rock feels when it's at the surface of Jupiter and one is at the surface of Earth and that should give us a ratio of how strong is the gravitational pull of Jupiter compared to Earth's. So the first thing that we need to know is the equation for the gravitational forces and the gravitational forces, the absolute value of it because we're looking just at the strength as a strength not the direction, is the gravitational constant G, the mass of the first planet, the mass of the second planet, and the distance between them square. Now, um, in order to calculate this uh, example, we're gonna just look at this number. So G is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 um, meter cubed kilogram per second square. Now, let's look at the mass of the Earth. So let's figure out uh, the force for on the Earth. So we have a one kilogram rock at the surface of the Earth. We are going to need mass one, which is going to be the Earth, the mass of the Earth, mass two, the mass of the rock, which is one kilogram, and then the distance between both of them, which is going to be the radius of the Earth, right? Because this how, that's how far it is from the center of the Earth. So here, let's plug it into the equation. We have 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. And then this is times the mass 1, which is the mass of the Earth. And this is going to be 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And then the mass of the rock, we said it was 1 kilogram. And then let's divide it by the distance square. So the distance square is 6 point times 10 to the 6 meters and all of this square. If you plug this into your calculator, you see that the rock, um, the rock feels 9.5 newtons. So at the surface of the Earth, that one kilogram rock feels 9.5 force. What does it feel like when it's on the edge of Jupiter? So the force in Jupiter, we follow the same steps, but now we plug in the mass of Jupiter which is two times 10 to the 27th kilograms. The rock is still the same rock, so it's one kilogram. And the distance between them is the radius of Jupiter, and the radius of Jupiter is seven times 10 to the seven meters, and we square this. If you plug this into your calculator, you get that you have 27.2 Newtons. So obviously the rock at the surface of Jupiter is feeling a force way stronger than that on Earth's. Now exactly how strong, how much stronger it is. If we divide the force of Jupiter, divided by the force of the Earth, we see that it is approximately about 2.7. Meaning that the gravitational pull of Jupiter is 2.7 times stronger than the gravitational pull of the Earth. And these are ways that we can compare the gravitational pull of different planets. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is which planet has the strongest pull.